From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait! Ooh-ha-ha! Welcome, Brother Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh-ha-ha! Enough of the Sharkbait! Sharkbait! Ooh-ha-ha! So what's up, YouTube? This is D with a very interesting update. I'm just bringing you in on a close-up. We had a massive rain here on Monday. I mean, crazy rain that has practically filled up the tub. If you look it is run right up to the overflow valve which is why I have this overflow here in which I capture the water and use it for water changes inside but really had a really crazy effect a lot of water look at the size of the snail now you can see the snail they're doing their moving thing where they fill their shells up with air and they use it to transport But uh, the water level has definitely risen and the snails and fish and everything have benefited. The rainwater definitely kickstarts the plants. Fresh water change, no tap water. Rainwater has 100% kicked the plants into grow mode. I'm trying to focus here. There you go. Remember all that old Kabamba? Look at all the new growth. This is all new leaves. You can see the old growth versus the new growth and uh you'll see all the fish are coming up because i just fed them um let me show you what i'm feeding these guys i feed them spirulina 20 um and just to change it up a little bit i feed them cobalt aquatics i know that says for salt water but i look at the ingredients i'm happy with the uh like the uh, squid meal, garlic, fish meal, you know, plankton and the mixture puts a lot of growth on the fish and giving them a varied diet definitely helps them out. I feed the larger fish, the TDO Chroma Boost, and it's small enough for the bigger fish. The fry don't bother with it, but they'll peck at it. But um, that's why I just kind of sprinkle it in there and you'll see, you look real close, my fry have definitely increased in size in the last couple of weeks. There's no longer a challenge to seeing them because they are bright orange, front row and center, uh, and looking good. Parents still look a little big. They may be still kicking out some babies. You can get a good shot of the Killy, the Monrovii, are coming up now. They see me filming. There's a male right over there. If you can get a good look at them. And as you can see, they have no problems eating the flake. I'm trying to get a good shot of the male, but he kind of darts in and out. Uh, there's another, oh man, hard to see him through the, uh, through all the growth and stay in focus because they're so darty. They dart around a lot, but fish are definitely doing good. The rainwater has kicked the pond into overdrive. These guys are looking good bright and colorful um but one of the things that i'll show you is the importance of having an overflow in your tub if i didn't have this overflow which is right here i'll zoom out this is a 70 gallon tub one day of rain basically put almost another 20 gallons of water in this tub i have lines that i keep for reference that glass plate was one and you can see that it is covered by about three inches of water. Three inches of water and one day of rain. Let me show it right there. You can see it. The height of the water versus the top of the glass. So let's say you have no overflow in your tubs. And some people may never have this problem. Who knows? If you don't have an overflow, where is that water going to go? It's going to basically throw your fish onto the soil. Because... <laughs> If you don't have a cover, I have a cover. Once the water level gets high, the fish are much more likely to jump if they're startled. If they see a bug, which they do here. This is outside. You can see them guys spend a lot of time at the surface. They get startled. They jump. And next you know, your fish are missing and you don't know what happened to them. You're like, oh, maybe the fish just died. Nine out of ten, they jumped out and ended up on your soil and have become fertilizer. <laughs> so 
Very important to have an overflow. You can have the overflow run into the garden. If you are not a subscriber to the channel, then you may not have known. Usually, I'll run it into my uh, my my beds. I got gardenias. I have tulips. I have lilies. I'll run it into the flower beds. This guy is spent for the season already. So I'm just capturing the water here for water changes later on in the year. I'll have a drum that I'll use for my inside water changes. I've had bad luck with tap water in my planted aquarium. Sometimes the tap water can just completely yell out a planted tank. And if you guys have tried to keep plants, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I use it for my raspberries. As you can see, I got tons of raspberries here, which brings me to the garden, you know. Reutilizing that fish water and rain water can save you not only a lot of headaches you can capture water you can put a little battery operated timer on it and water your plants but they also just provide a lot of healthy fish nothing's better than god's natural resources um i got oregano growing like crazy out here rain water rain water rain water um, the white cloud tub here is crazy. It filled up with water also. Remember, I thought this had a leak in it, but seeing how the water level has gotten so much higher. I don't know where the leak is, but there's enough water in there to sustain them. And they are doing fine, as you can see. I fed those guys also. And they're living their best life. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, plants. I'm trying not to go in and out of the greenhouse, but I'll show you I have been growing Ritala out here. You can see in this 10 gallon tank inside the greenhouse, the Ritala has grown. The Ritala has grown better than it ever did inside the house. Um, and it's been there all winter. It was in a block of ice. Let me just walk over here. I got tomatoes. I got everything growing with the water that I'm capturing from the pond and from the rain. So, wonderful results. Save your water bill. Here in New York, we pay for water. If you're in an apartment, pretty much don't care, but the mint loves it. I got all kinds of mint, chocolate mint, spearmint, lemon balm. I got everything growing here. Tomatoes out of my ears. Got blueberries here. Got blueberries. Let me see. I'm going to eat this one here because... Uh, I don't want a bird to get it. Delicious. Mm. Oh, that was delicious. Oh boy, now I'm hungry now. But reuse your resources, reuse your water. If you're gonna use it inside, be aware that bug larvae can be in water. So before I put anything in the house, you might wanna run it through some filter floss just to make sure you're not bringing any mosquito larvae or anything like that in the house. And uh, you will get great results with the plants and fish. The temperature is pretty good now. It's just where I want it, right in the green. There you go. Cooler, this is probably one of the cooler days. It's in the almost hitting 80 the other day. But, uh, I'm waiting for those killies to pop out some babies. I got white clouds in here. I got celestial pearls in here. I got three forms of Daniel. I have my breed that I've been breeding for the last two years, long fin leopards. I have a, a blue Daniel, which is when he swims by, you absolutely notice him. I have a orange Daniel, not a glow light Daniel, but orange, which you can see everywhere. I really want to breed those guys out and uh, come up with a, a nice variant of maybe the two. Maybe I'll come up with a nice variant. Look at this guy. He just ate a whole flake and he's like the size of my pinky. One thing, these dudes are not afraid. They're in open space outside. I don't bother them. They're my babies. They're pretty much born in here. Um, oh, yeah, that brings me to the scallions. Scallions. Look at this. Still growing. Um, not the best in water. Doesn't really do that crazy in water. It's still growing, staying alive, but let's look at the ones I put in the pot. Those had done absolutely marvelous. Got scallions over here. Doing excellent. I'm going to eat those soon. 
Um, I did break one of my branches off of this cherry tomato. Stuck it in the dirt. Now I got another plant. Rooted up, doing good. That'll be another plant. I'll have the transplant. But reutilizing resources and just managing your water. Once again, if you don't have some sort of overflow like this here, that water is going to want to come up and go over and create a potential nightmare because I don't touch this tub for the whole season. I could go on vacation. The Lord takes care of this tub and the fish do excellent. I've done my best breeding from these tubs. I'm going to move this around so you can see the coconut fiber. Coconut fiber is doing good down there. I'm really happy. Look at these guys swimming right up to my finger. They think I'm feeding them. I'm really happy with this. I'm going to bring some of this wild kabam in the house. Um, oh, yeah. One more thing before I cut out. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up. Give me a like. And somebody mentioned I'm collecting plants in a wild. Um, when I collect plants in a wild, I have a boat. So if I go in the lake, I go in about... 20 feet of water and I bring plants up. I never collect plants from the shoreline. Shoreline plants almost always have some sort of bug, mosquito, dragonfly, or some sort of larva in it. But if you pull your plants up from deep water, they're pretty much not going to have bug larva in it. So, so you don't have to worry about that. I've never had that problem. And they're absolutely gorgeous. <coughs> so look at this pot. Remember the pot? chain sword doing good <coughs> excuse me it's not covid <coughs> i'm gonna leave you with that i'm gonna sit down have me something to drink eat dinner relax chill probably come out look for the fish again this is d hoping you enjoy the videos share your comments share your videos you got a channel put it in the comments below i love to see what other people are doing especially in new york brooklyn aquarium society is Full effect. We're still going. Trying to do as many virtual events as we can. And um, keeping busy. Still can't meet yet. So it is what it is. Till next time. This is D signing out. Love, peace, and hair grease. I'm out. I'm going to enjoy my fishies. See ya.